Hi there, I'm John Shields and welcome to Chesapeake Bites. Today we're going to be making JoJo's Curried Crab Dip. I have some softened cream cheese here, about 16 ounces. And you could whip it up, uh, you know, in a mix master or you can just let it sit out a little bit and it will soften up quite nicely for you. All right, so I went to the farmer's market and got some Max Degrees Curry. Oh my gosh. So he actually uses some dried mushrooms in this to make sort of a, I mean, you have to know who's coming over for dinner, who's going to be dipping your dip. Um, but essentially, you could get really hot curry and make them cry, or you can get a milder curry and uh, just get the, the um, flavoring. So I'm going to take about two tablespoons of our locally made curry and then about two tablespoons of mayonnaise. One, two, any kind of mayonnaise that you like. And then I have about a third a cup of coconut milk. Mm -mm -mm. And then we're gonna put in a little bit of green onions. You're just really getting some color on this. And especially like, if you're gonna use this for a party, this is absolutely perfect. You're having the green, you have the red, you have the golden curry spice in there. Lovely. And then I'm just gonna take this. This is not really technical. If you're seeing what I'm doing, it's not technical. We're putting everything into the bowl. And I promise you, your guests are gonna talk about you for a long time and say, Oh my God, that was the best curry crab dip I've ever had in my life. Okay, so there we go. We have essentially the base for the crab dip. Then I have the good stuff. I have some crab meat from down Cambridge, Maryland, from J.M. Clayton, the oldest seafood packing company on the Chesapeake Bay. And if you can see this, it's almost like golden, like the curry. Unbelievable. So I'm going to just take, now I used a lump. You could get jumbo lump if you have a lot of money, um, but it really doesn't make sense for this particular dip because by the time we fold everything together and bake it, it's really going to be much more a flavor um, aspect as opposed to looking for big lumps in your crab dip. So here we go. Now, again, I mean, I, I said I wasn't too worried about the lumps, but if you can see what I'm doing here, I'm folding it in. So don't take this and put it in your KitchenAid with the dough hook and let it go round and round and round because then you're going to have um, a texture in that crab dip you just don't want to have. Okay, there we go. It would be something akin to cat food. Um, not good. So, all right. Then I have a little Pyrex dish here that I've lightly greased. You could, you know, if you have something beautiful, a little fluted thing or a little hand-me-down that's oven safe, put it in there because you're going to be putting this pretty much right on the table. Okay, in it goes like so. Get all that in. Okay, then I'm just going to smooth it out just a tad. So I'm going to put in some golden raisins into our crab dip. Uh, the actual recipe calls for currants, but I kind of like golden raisins in there. Uh, I think they look better and they're not these little black specks all through it, and especially around the holidays. So we just take this. And what I did first is I soaked them in a little bit of hot water just for about five minutes. And I used just a tiny bit of that liquid, that soaking liquid, and it gives a little bit of flavor to your casserole. And I set my oven to 350 degrees. And I'm gonna pop that in there and we're gonna let it bake for about half an hour, 35 minutes and I'll take a look at it. Okay, taking our crab dip out of the oven. Looks good. You see it's kind of firm. It's not shaking around too much. 
So what you're going to do here is let it cool a bit, otherwise you will definitely burn your lips, um, which is not nice. Um, however, when you're doing, you know, dips in general, especially warm dips, people will use like club crackers or Ritz crackers or maybe the new sesame toasted crackers, all of which are lovely. But you know, if you're going to use this for a party or around the holidays, since we have the curry in it, the thing that I found works so good is just a well-made ginger snap. So you just put those around, let people take some on the plate, and then they can dip, right? And it's amazing. So you can entertain for the holidays. You can make it really easy. Um, and this curried crab dip is a great way to go. Thank you all so much for joining us today and hanging out here on Chesapeake Bites. Um, we love you coming. We love you watching everything. So if you get a chance, share this with your friends, your family, the dog walker, whoever you want to do that with, uh, because we like to get the word out. And you can also go to www.ourcommontable.org. We got all kinds of social media that you can sign up to. I don't know how to do it, but you'll figure it out. And as always, so many of these ingredients came from the farmer's market and local artisan food makers. And that's what I want you to do. Get out there, meet these people, whether it's at a farm, a farmer's market, a local store, and help us rebuild the local food economy, you know, one bite at a time. So all I can tell you is get ye to the farmer's market. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that you got some ideas to recreate in your own kitchen and learned a little something along the way. For more information on our common table and our mission to eat well, protect our environment, and rebuild the local food economy one dish at a time, check out our website and join us on social media.